Hey guys! Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. I go by Sweet Pea Cosplay on the internet and I'm happy to have you here. <laughs> like any nerd girl in the world, there are times in my life where I'll be watching a new anime or a new comic or something and a man will just waltz into my life and take over every bit of me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Husbandos. My husbands have included Koga from Inuyasha, Sosuke from Free, and most recently, Fat Gum from My Hero Academia. It is a pivotal part of any fangirl's life that one day you are just going to see a character and go, that one, I'm marrying that one. I haven't experienced the husbando moment in a long time, but the moment in the My Hero Academia panel where Fat Gum came on, I was hooked. I'm serious. I started trying to find all of the Fat Gum fan art that I possibly could, tried to see if anybody else had the same love for him that I did, and at the time, not many people knew who Fat Gum was. Now, all of that has changed. Fat Gum is officially a part of the anime, and there are more Fat Gum lovers out there than just me now. As such, it has become a lot more accessible for me to be able to buy keychains and pictures and stuff from Etsy, and pretty soon they're going to be rolling out a lot of official merch for Fat Gum. I really hope so anyway. Please, please. I need a bunch of Fat Gum official merch. Anyway, for the past couple of weeks I have been diving into Etsy and buying as much Fat Gum stuff as I could. With quarantine going on, what else am I going to do? There's always been this thing in the anime and otaku community that I've always been curious about but I've never tried to do myself. And really that was because I never really liked a character enough to get a bunch of them specific merch all in one go. What I'm talking about is the eat -a bag trend. Something that I really enjoy at conventions is seeing everybody's eat -a bags that they have made and dedicated to specific characters. It's just really fun to see everybody have such a passion for a certain character and to take that out and express it in that kind of way. So I decided I wanted to do that for Fat Gum. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be making a Fat Gum eat -a bag and I'm so excited for it. I decided that I wanted a pretty big eat -a bag because because Fat Gum is a thick boy and he deserves all the space in the world. I ended up finding this super cute one off of Amazon for I want to say maybe about $30 to $40. I chose this bag because I thought that it would be a great convention bag as it is very spacious and has a lot of pockets that I can, you know, carry stuff around in at conventions. You know, when we have conventions again. It's got a really big inside and there are pockets and zippers on the inside for me to hide things in. And there's also a zipper back here that I could put stuff in and I just, it would be so cute. Just go around the dealer's hall. I'm gonna go buy some merch, see you later. So this is the bag that I have decided on for Fat Gum. If you are curious about where I got this specific Eta bag or you want to know uh, where I got certain keychains or things, everything that I know who the artist is, I will link below. And if you don't see it below but you do know who the artist is, please tell me so that I can give them some street cred. Okay, okay, you're probably tired of hearing me talk. Let's just dive in. Let's go make this Eta bag. I'm so excited. So the first thing that we need to do is get our base. Uh, any kind of cardboard will work for this, but I just so happen to have a little Caesar's pizza box that was pretty clean. So that's what I decided to use. You'll want to have your Eta bag handy. That way you can use it as a guide to measure just how much you need to cut out from the box. Uh, it's best to go a little bit bigger than what you think, and you can always cut more away later on. Also, I highly recommend to do test fits every chance that you can. Once you're happy with the size of your cardboard cutout, you're going to lay it out on top of your fabric of choice. I decided to use orange fabric because Fat Gum's color is orange. You're just going to trace it out and cut it.
Once you have it cut, go ahead and sew three of the four edges. You do want to leave one of the edges open, that way you'll be able to flip it inside out and then slide in your cardboard. When the cardboard is in, seal up that open edge. Now for the fun part, decorating. I started out by taking all of my pins and all the fat gum things that I owned and just laying them out around me. Then I kind of just played around with placing them, trying to find a way that I liked. Honestly, I ended up not even going with the structure that I laid out here but it's good to at least get a basic idea of what you're looking at. From there, we want to make things more permanent. For the pins, I just stuck them through the fabric or through the cardboard. But as far as things like the Polaroid picture and the keychains, I ended up using safety pins to help them hang down and had to finagle a little bit to really get things to look the way that I want them to. It does take a lot of playing around, but just keep working at it until you're satisfied with the way it works. I probably changed the way things looked at least three times, but you know, it was kind of relaxing. It was nice to just turn on some music and do something a little mindless for a little while. I tried to keep things a little bit more towards the center, leaving a little bit of space on the edges. The reason behind this was because I didn't want any of the pins or anything to get lost in the bag itself. And it's done. All that's left to do now is to slide it into place in the bag and hit the con floor. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button down below. I post a new video every other Friday of any kind of otaku and nerve related content. If you're more interested in my cosplay, you can follow me on Instagram at Sweet Pea Cosplay for any of my work in progress, update pictures, or sneak peeks about what the next video might be. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!